टाइटल स्पॉन्सर स्ट्रेंथ पार्टनर शिवम सीमेंट भरोसा अटूट संबंध को लर्निंग पार्टनर माय सेकंड टीचर भविष्य नेपाल को सिकेटिंग पार्टनर प्रभु पे वॉलेट अब मोबाइल में डिजिटल पार्टनर डिजिटल एंटरटेनिंग द नेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन ऑफ नेपाल development panel from Nepal. That's a gift for Odao. Looks like he's taken it. That ball should run away towards the boundary. Down the hill on that side of the ground. Into the side. And that swung in, but straight onto the middle of Max Odao's bat. That is a glorious shot. Oh, he's bowled him. That's the first wicket for Malaysia in this tri-series. Pavandeep Singh with a beautiful arm ball. And Visay is gone, stumps everywhere. With the ball in hand. There's the sweep. May have found the boundary. He has. Did well there. Edwards rolled his wrists. And he hit it as fine as he could, so he beat the man out on the boundary. Wicket's just pegged them back. It's clipped pleasingly into the leg side. That's a glorious shot. Cut away, there's a man, a third man, but that's how quick the outfield is. It's going to fly past him for four. Down the track, takes the aerial route, and that's going to soar into the sky. The first six of the innings onto the bank. Not as big a crowd as yesterday. That would have thudded into the Nepal Cricket Supporters Society section. But the end of the seventh over, the score is 56 for one. If he can generate any of that into the two right-handers. Does get the in-swing and a diving effort at short fine leg. He can't cling on. He can't even get a hand on it. Edwards down the track and he finds the rope. Looks for the sweep. Big appeal and given. given. Scott Edwards thought he might have got outside the line, but no hesitation from the umpire. That's the second wicket. A crucial breakthrough for Malaysia. They have number two. It'll be interesting to see the replay. Much fuller ball. Edwards trying to Bring out his bread and butter shot. Yes, yeah, seemed to have hit. The big question was, close. was it in line, Sharad? Was it in line? But yeah. Himal Rajgiri thought it was. The finger goes up. That's the end of Edwards. He's gone for 31. The Netherlands are 66 for two. A lovely shot and a poor piece of field. And he's almost dived out of the way of it. And it's going to cost a boundary. Oh, that's uh, a rare freebie, which O'Dowd accepts gleefully. Even a ball. That's a big shot from O'Dowd, and that is definitely out of the park, right onto that grass bank. Big shot from him, real intent now from the Netherlands. They don't want to just tick along like they did yesterday. Yeah, as I was about to say that he hasn't given the batsman in his range, but that one he tried to... Toss it up a bit, but Dowd really hitting that really well. Full toss this time. This could be O'Dowd's 50. It is. Pavandeep tries his best to stop it crossing the boundary, but cannot prevent it doing so. And Max O'Dowd has got to an important half century for the Netherlands in this tri series, the first that they've made. And for him, it's his seventh in T20 internationals. Again down leg side, again pulled away by O'Dowd. This time over the line. Found the gap anyway. Another six for him. He's starting to motor. O'Dowd down the track. He's timed that. Straight up in the air. It's almost plugged, but still got to the boundary. It was dead straight. Bit of an odd shot, really. He was beaten by the length from Wafik, just went through with the shot and he hit it so straight, he still hit it for four. Around the wicket, Wafik, and he's just bowled it straight into the arc of Max O'Dowd. No one out there on the cow corner boundary. This is an expensive over. Oh, 
Down comes Cooper. Hits that one straight. That could well be a boundary and is. That is a glorious stroke from Max O'Dowd. Up and over, extra cover. Fantastic. Right onto the grass bank. Shot of the day. That just making some room for himself and going through the line of the ball for a majestic six. Maxwell O'Dowd has greeted him by pumping him out of the ground. What a shot that is. It was a flat, long hop, really. A bit of a gift for a man who's starting to see them a bit like a baseball or a beach ball even, Matt. And that one's flown all the way for six. It was a short delivery. Let's repeat the dose. There's a man out there and it's going to soar over his head as well. Back-to-back -back sixes. It's put a hole in the Bajaj pulsar. Advertising hoardings. Sensational batting. That's pleasing the Dutch fans. These two put on 77 now. It was inside out over extra cover. What a shot that is. That is glorious. So pleasing to the eye. Maxwell and out. One bounce four. And this is it. It's going to be the moment. Maxwell O'Dowd here in Kathmandu makes history for the Netherlands. The first ever T20 I-100. He takes his helmet off. He lifts his back to the sky. Yesterday is forgotten for the Dutch right now. Because Maxwell O'Dowd, you have a T20 I century. And it's taken just 59 deliveries. He has not hung around today. Strike rate 172. Five sixes. Including a couple of glorious shots over cover. Smash down the ground, the umpire has to take evasive action. It's going to thud into the th side screen at the Bajaj, pulse her end. Super shot from Maxwell O'Dowd. One of those ones he thought he needed to come in, and he's ended up overrunning it, coming in too far. Would have been a regulation catch if he'd stayed where he was, but it's gone all the way for six. It's an offer. Oh, that's a glorious shot. Any time a batsman goes inside out over extra cover, he's held his shape beautifully. One bounce and another boundary four. Smash down the ground. There's going to be more runs here. And it's going to soar. Just one bounce, just shy of the boundary. I thought it might have gone all the way for six. Two deliveries remain. Going to be more runs. There's going to be another boundary four. And that's a thousand T20i runs now for Maxwell O'Dow. This is a day he's going to remember. He moves to not just a daddy hundred. He moves to the landmark of a thousand T20i runs. 129 not out here today. So one ball to go. Records breaking everywhere here, Matt. The highest ever score by an associate in the T20I International. Slower leg cutter heaved into the deep. They're going to keep running here. They're not going to need to run because it's going to be a boundary. Four more. Maxwell O'Dowd, 133 not out of 73 deliveries. The fifth highest score ever in a T20 International by any batsman around the world. The highest by an associate. What a knock we've witnessed here in Kathmandu. Welcome back. Game two of the Bajaj Pulsar Tri-Nation Series strength partner Shivam Cement. Andrew Leonard here, You've got Matt Floyd beside me. You can see the umpires walking out. And if you missed us, missed the first innings with us, we've seen absolute fireworks from that man, Max O'Dowd. 133 off 73 deliveries, the fifth highest individual T20I score in the history of T20 international cricket. What a knock it was, Matt. It really was. He dominated the partnership with Ben Cooper, who is Netherlands' best batsman on paper in this format, the leading run scorer in T20 internationals. Well, their partnership of 125, O'Dowd made 102 of those. That's how dominant he was. Malaysia stuck to their task in their first game of this series. The wickets taken by Pavandeep Singh and Anwar Rahman, the two left-arm spinners who were without doubt the pick of the bowlers. The management have stuck with him though, just 17 years old. Give him another go. Yeah, slip in place and turn an offer, but runs coming off the bat again immediately. He was expensive yesterday, Dutt. And what a start that is. The first globally televised match for Malaysia. They start with a boundary. And we'll see what he's made of here under pressure. Heaved into the leg side, off the free hit. It's going to fly all the way for six. What a start this is for Malaysia. They've got no fear in chasing down the near 10 and over required. Some nervous laughter from the Dutch fans in the crowd. That's nice, isn't it? The dream start. <laughs> Bowden, Aryan Dutt strikes back and he celebrates an absolute beauty. Clipping the top of off stump, going through the gate. 
Arudin hit the free hit for six. He got far too excited, and he's gone for second ball. I think he thought that might have been another free hit. Down the leg side, big appeal and given. The umpire almost shook his head at first, but I think it's come off the glove. A really good catch. Scott Edwards outstanding with the gloves yesterday. One of the few things that went right for the Netherlands. And Arjen Dutz got two in the first over. And scariest bowlers you'll ever face. Comes off the leading edge. Could be a chance for the third wicket. Taken. Peter Seeler is not going to drop that. He was looking to work it into the leg side, but it finds a leading edge. The bowling change works. Malaysia in deep trouble now. Pleasant out there, isn't it? Um, and those mountains over there don't get seen too often because of the air pollution. It's a glorious day. Going to be a boundary. The poor wayward stuff from Brat continues. He strays down the leg side this time. and Slower ball picked immediately and smashed down the ground. What a shot that is. It's going to go all the way onto the grass bank for a maximum super shot. That Max O'Dowd did earlier on today. Straight over a wide long off, you would say. Comfortably clearing the boundary. Fielder out at long off. Long on, no at long off. Moved into the leg side. It's going to be back-to-back -back sixes. This one soaring all the way into the sky. Bratz troubles continue. A really expensive first over from him. No ball signalled. This was the problem for Kingma. And we're going to have another free hit. And to add insult to injury, it's going to be a boundary four as well. Lovely shot. Wasn't a bad delivery. Just punched off the back foot. But crucially, the right arm goes out. Free hit signalled. Of modern international cricket, particularly T20s though. Here comes the free hit. Slower ball heaved into the leg side. And it's going to be a boundary. Yesterday's free hit was punished for six. This time it's punished for four. Great entertainment. No ball again, and it's going to go for four. This is turning into a nightmare for Vivian Kingma. And he's greeted with a straight bat, smashing him down the ground over the side screen for six runs. This camera soared into the sky. It wasn't that big a hit, but my God, what a shot. Six runs. Boisavain yesterday started with a full toss. He went for six. The same things happened today. Shorter this time, pulled into the leg side, could be half a chance, and it's put down a superb effort from Team Deleda. He kicks the boundary rope in frustration. Going to be four runs, that's two drop catches in the over. Pulled into the deep, is this finally going to be the wicket? We've had two drop catches, and Ben Cooper says, that's how you do it, boys. The easiest of the three chances, in fairness. Boisavin has deserved that wicket, and he finally strikes. Down the track, smash down the ground towards Long On. And taken, brilliant catch from Ben Cooper. Sharif stay at the crease is a short one. He's gone for a third ball duck. Super stuff from the tall man at Long On. So the Netherlands have quelled a bit of a fight back from Malaysia with those two wickets in the last couple of overs. Back on track now. Ross event to continue, and that is going to be a wicket, possibly. No, it isn't. Good opportunity there for Dutt, the 17-year-old. Wasn't a great ball, in truth. A bit of a long hop. It was middled off the back foot, but Dutt just palmed it over the bar like a goalkeeper. Cut in the air, just past the man in the ring. And Dutt, unfortunately, can't prevent the boundary, so that's an expensive over. 11 gone, 92 for five. That's another hard pull, and that is going to go for six. So Aminuddin Ramley is making an impact here. 18 off just eight balls. Going to Ramley. Oh, that's a big shot from Ramley. He's got up and over the offside there, and he's managed to find the gap as well. Just went square enough. So the man sweeping on the offside boundary couldn't get round in time. A much needed boundary, Sharad. Oh, that's a big pull shot from Ramley. But he's found the man on the boundary. Well taken that by Sebastian Bratt. He didn't quite get all of it, did Ramley. Yeah, he's looking at the bat. Came right off the toe. And finally, the Netherlands pouched one on the boundary. Quick runs here. Oh, he went early. That's a great shot from Virandeep Singh. Wow. He went early, he switched the hands over, didn't he? 
Kevin really? Peterson-esque and just caress the ball behind square. That was lovely. Nicely executed shot there. Almost looked like a left-hander. Yeah. Malaysia needs 71 off the final five to overhaul it. Pull from Virandeep. That's gone flat and that's gone hard and that's gone for six. So he's starting to really up the ante now. Short delivery and he needs to do that, Andrew, if they're going to win this game. Yeah, Sebastian Brat today, he's having... He needs to turn it around and turn it around quickly. Otherwise, we're going to have a game on in the last five overs here. Super knock this from Singh. He moves to 47. Hasn't played a huge amount of late. Ooh. Slow ball bouncer again. This time, Edwards can't collect, so that's going to be either wides or buys. To spring what would be a massive upset. Slower ball. Kizah Hyatt straight up in the air. This is going to be caught. It is at long on. Good catch by Ben Cooper, who's caught three now. Switch it. Plays it well. Gets it along the ground this time. Two men behind square on the offside. Beats them both. He's a talent. Goes straight this time. Traditional, and that's going to be four. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Virandeep Singh. Great start to the over. Can King stay behind the line? Oh, Virandeep. Got in a mess there. He tried to scoop, but in the end, good ball from Kingway followed him, but Virendeep was able to just open the face and get it over the offside. Wow. Oh, he goes to the other side. That's a good shot, actually. So that was the slower ball from Kingma. Virendeep able to get enough power on that for it to go all the way. So this is a big over now for Malaysia. Exploiting that. He's not looking at it down the ground. And that was such a slower ball, he waited and waited and finally scooped it over the rope all the way for six. In for his final over, he's been expensive so far. Wow, he has connected with that, that is a big six. Over to the shorter side of the ground, huge, out of the ground, the biggest we've seen all day. What a way to start the over. has been going, Malaysia can take this game, that's right into the hitting arc. It's a real gift to be honest. And the, the way that Singh has seen them, that sword out of the ground, arguably the biggest six of the day. Major cricket fans back home, can he get them over the line here? Sure, that is a great shot as well, off the back foot, another six over the offside. That is up there with the shot he played earlier in the game, off the front foot. Wow, are we on for a big shock here at the TU International Cricket Ground? 15 runs, what a shot that is, it was back of a length. Leg side, offside, doesn't matter to Singh. Soars into the banks. Six more, huge pressure on Brat now. Established batsman in the side. Slow ball again. Virendeep hasn't got this, it's skewed away. Chance! What a catch! That is a brilliant catch. Ooh, short, slow ball. It's pulled away actually by Wafiq and it's gone all the way. So a bit late as far as Malaysia are concerned, but got a nice connection there, the left-hander. A few Yorkers and then a bouncer. Last ball, back to the Yorker, perfect. Finishes with a dot, so a strong finish by Kingma. And the Netherlands have come through a tough test. They put 191 on the board thanks to Max O'Dowd, scintillating 133 not out off 73 balls. They then had Malaysia 20 for three, but had to respond to a bit of adversity towards the end of that run chase. Malaysia, through Virandeep Singh, the vice captain, who made 87 or 53 balls, made a really good fist of that run chase. And it was in the balance right up until three or four balls to go. Title sponsor. Strength partner. Shivam Cement. Bharosa. Atut Sammanta Go. Learning partner, my second teacher, Bhavishya Nepalko. Ticketing partner, Prabhu Pay Wallet Aba Mobile Ma. Digital partner, Oesa Digital, entertaining the nation. Organized by Cricket Association of Nepal.